At a conference, there were 25% more men than women. There were 180 adults at the conference. How many men were there? So looking at the statement here, 25% more men, I can infer that there are 100% of women and for men, there will be 125% since they say there are 25% more. That goes to say that the total percentage will become 225% and I can equate that to 180 adults. So you are finding how many men were there, you are finding 125%. So some of you would try to do this by finding 1% and then you will have to take 180 divided by 225 and you will meet with a problem because this is a paper 1 question and you have to solve it without the use of a calculator. So what do you do? Well, I would encourage you to change this 25% into fraction. So to simplify, you will get a quarter. So reading it this way, a quarter. There were one quarter more men than women. So drawing the model, since they say one quarter more men than women, I'm going to take women having four quarters and men, there'll be one more chunk. So you will see that for men, there are a total of five units or I can say 125%. And for women, there will be 4 units or 100%. And the total of this is 180 adults. Now, using the model and the percentage, can you see a relationship between that two? Well, if you do, you know that 1 unit is equal to 25%. Same goes to all of this. Each chunk represents 25%. Now, to solve this, it is much more easier because I know there is a total of 9 units which is equal to 180. I can easily find 1 unit by taking 180 divided by 9, I get 20. And the last step, to find men, which there are a total of 5 units, I will take 20 times 5, which gives me 100. And that's my answer. Another method that some of you would notice, 100%, there are four sets of 25%. Correct? So some of you can easily see that in 225%, how many sets of 25 there are? There are nine. Because 9 times 25 gives you 225. So you can separate it into 9 units and the method will be the same as this. Then you would not have to draw the model to help you solve this question. You can easily just take 9 units and divide it up to find 1 unit and multiply it by 5.